today we have a story time and this is the story of how I bought a beautiful Birkin 30 and then I sent it 2,000 miles away and lost it for effectively six months. So in June, I bought a pre-loved Birkin 30 from my trusted seller. Um, and the only downside was that the handles are pretty severely patinaed. So this is the before image. In August, I reached out to a company known for luxury leather repair uh, to just get a quote for how much it would cost and how long it would take to replace my handles. So they got back to me in September to say that they could do it in three months. So that was good. And in October, I sent my bag to Miami. And once they received it and it showed up in the system, it said that the work order could be done in one month. So that was a pleasant surprise. Until one month later, I checked the portal to see what was going on with my service order and there were no updates. Uh, so this is where I started to worry and I realized that there is zero customer support. At this point, it had been three months since I sent my bag to Miami. And the only thing that I knew is that I didn't have my bag, but I didn't know where it was or if anything had been done to it. So I reached out to the original sales associate that I spoke to when I reached out for a quote and he had actually recently left the company. So he linked me up with the person who owned the company, who ironically had also recently parted ways with the company. Is that a red flag? Probably. So when I spoke to him, he said, fortunately, I can probably find your bag. So fingers crossed basically at that time that he would find my bag for me and he did. So thankfully after three months, I finally saw my bag at least to know that it was still in the condition that it was in when I sent it in. And at that point, he said, I can either A, send it back to you, or B, try to still get that work done that you want it done. And he said, let me just show you what we can do and you can decide from there. So I went with B, because <laughs> I still wanted to get my handles replaced. And after much back and forth, silence a week, at a time and many I'll send you pics tomorrow the work was done it was finally done now you might be wondering how was the work what was the quality and was it worth all that stress let me break it down for you if you recall I sent the bag in to get the handles replaced and in order to do so three things have to happen Replacement leather has to be sourced and dyed. The old handles have to come off, be used as a pattern for the new handles. The new handles have to be reattached. So first of all, the leather is genuine ostrich, so that's a good thing. And the dye job that they did to match the handles to the original body of the bag was good. However, I asked them to also dye the follicles and it's kind of varying in quality. I will insert some photos of that here. So that is kind of disappointing. The second part of this is taking the old handles off. It would appear that when they removed the old handles, the artisan scored the leather 
And this could have been done to kind of remind them where it needs to be reattached. But with the new handles on, you can still see the marks on the purse. And lastly, this is probably the biggest disappointment. The handles are reattached using a machine. And that is kind of contrary to the value of an Hermes because every step done to create this bag is done by hand. So with the new handles on, I can see that the stitching doesn't match the original pattern. The seam allowance is inconsistent. There's a different amount of space between the edge of the leather and the seam at various points. And finally, where the handles are attached to the bag, there's puckering. This is also a byproduct of using a machine to attach the handles. So overall, I would say I regret <laughs> this whole experience. And I would not recommend that you send your luxury bag in for repairs. That said, I am thankful to everyone that was involved in this process who helped me get my purse back home where it belongs.